Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to use Visual Studio to create a static website. In this video, I'll show you how to create, open and save files. When you first open Visual Studio, you should see something similar to this window. With Visual Studio, you can create solutions and projects to store your websites in. A solution is a container for your projects, and you can have many projects inside a solution. Projects are how Visual Studio organizes the files in your website. If you've already created a project with a website, you can open it here. We're going to create our website in a project, so you need to select Create a New Project. Because Visual Studio is used for a lot of different programming languages, there are a lot of options here. You can narrow that down by clicking on the project types and selecting web. We're going to use the ASP.NET empty website template. So you may need to scroll or you can search for it up here. Empty web. Okay, either of these will do. If you don't see this option, you might need to go back and reinstall Visual Studio, making sure that the additional project templates are also installed. I show this in my previous video on installing Visual Studio for websites. So just click Next. You need to name the project and the solution. I'm going to add the words project and solution to the end so that I know which is which. I'm just going to stay with the default website names, but you can change these names. Visual Studio will show the location in its default folder. If you want to save it somewhere else, you can browse to another folder. I'm just going to create it here. You can also change the default folder in the options in the program. We're not going to be using the framework, so just go with the default option there. Then click Create. You'll now see your website project over here on the right, which is where we're going to save the HTML files. To create a new file, go to File, New, File, or the keyboard shortcut is Control N. And just select an HTML page, but notice that you can also create a style sheet, a CSS file. And now you can see your web page under the folder, but it's been given a default name of HTML page. We need to rename it to a better name. You can right click on the file and select rename. This will be my home page, so I'll call it index. Then press enter. With Visual Studio 2019, the default view is the source code, which is what we're seeing here but we want to be able to see the design mode as well. To do that, we'll change the default setting. Right click on your page name, select open with, then HTML web forms editor, then set as default, then click OK. You may get a message that you already have the page open, so you can just say yes at this point. Now you'll see at the bottom options for design, split and source. Design will show you the general layout and colours of your page, which at the moment is empty. Source will just show the HTML code and split will show both. To save your web page, you can go to your file menu and save. You can also select save all if you have a number of web pages open at the same time. Also, the keyboard shortcut is Control-S for saving one page or Control-Shift-S for saving multiple pages. To open other pages in your website, again, you can go to the File and Open menu and you can open a website or a file. So to open a file, it's Control-O. You can also double-click a file name from within the Solution Explorer. 